Tommy, ending our pre-season campaign with a, a very good victory against what is higher opposition, League Two side. Yeah, yeah they were a good League Two side. They, they've got an identity, the way they play. Matt's had a really successful period since coming in and being a manager here. And they've held, they've held their own quite comfortably in the EFL since winning the National League. So, yeah, all of that was mentioned to the players before the game. We knew it would be a very different test to the ones that we faced, certainly on Tuesday night, but in all of the other games we've played. Um, but I thought the lads in the first half stood up to a really strong wind. It was a really strong wind, and they put it on you. Yeah, they, they, they asked questions of you defensively, and the fact that who we had in them positions, um, I, I would imagine all three of them wouldn't wouldn't have expected to be playing it in that position together at this stage of pre-season. But they've done really well, and the boys in front of them patrolled in front very well. And I thought we were excellent first half. We looked a real attack and threat. Their goalkeepers made three or four excellent saves. Um, our strikers looked sharp and full of goals. So it was a really good exercise. The best thing for me is that we've got to the end of the pre-season program in terms of the games, and we haven't picked up any more uh, knocks or niggles that I'm, I'm overly concerned about. Yeah, you say it was a real test there. They they really did kind of hit it high to to what was a, a, a bit of a smaller back three than we might be used to this season. But they kept they, they did deal with it really well, and I guess even up the other end as well. Jack Jack Byron was winning almost every header, wasn't he? Mm. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, I, I don't really want to pick any one person out because I thought the eleven that started won the game in terms of they got themselves ahead and I thought everyone we, we made eight changes seven changes we made seven changes and it was quite seamless which was great for me I've, I've kept, kept telling the lads it's not about the start of 11 all the time of course everybody wants to start the games but I can only pick 11 so there's going to be a few disappointed next Saturday and people will all have their opinions about who should and who shouldn't but there's 46 games and I need every single one of them in there and a couple more um, and I, but I'm, I'm really happy with the way pre-season's gone I think the lads have tried to buy in the had to buy into what I want to do and what we, what we coach and what we teach them in, in the, on the training ground. But the, the, the reaction I've had uh, has probably put me a little further ahead than I thought we were, were with that performance. Well, you mentioned the starting eleven next Saturday. I know you're not going to say it now, are you? But are you, are you a bit closer to knowing who that is or are you still got a few more decisions to make? Yeah, I've, I've certainly got decisions to make. Oh, listen, who knows what tomorrow brings you? Maybe other, another face in the building. We don't know. So, um, yeah, listen, I've got a, I've got an idea, but I think everybody would. If you ask every player in there, they'll each have it themselves in the in the team, which are, which is what I want. Um, like I said, it's all about the us, not the me or the you know. We 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 together know what what we are, and we know how we want to do what we do. And um, I don't care which eleven come up against us. At some stage in every game this season, we will have our time, and when we have that time, we need to capitalise like we did today. And Laurent with another goal, a brilliant finish, wasn't it? That that must. Just, it just been, must be really nice to see your, your signing, just scoring and yeah. getting, getting on the score. Well, I'm really pleased with all the strikers. I think Kwame obviously brings something different because of his size and his experience. Jack is an absolute dynamo. He runs around, you know, he doesn't give people an, an inch. But they all play well with each other, and that, that's, a, that's a huge plus for me. Also, it might be a headache at some, sometimes, but um, like I said, we're all rowing in the same direction in this boat, and once that's the case, I'm, I'm happy to have all of them. And, you know, I've spoken to you, Rich and Hugo, and you all said, you know, this pre-season hasn't necessarily been about the results. It's been about getting the players fit and ready. Are, are they there now? Are they there now? I think they are, yeah. I mean, we, we've managed their minutes um, meticulously. Well, Hugo has, that's what he does. Um, but we, we've looked after them as much as we can. Obviously, in certain areas, we've been a little bit light in body, so we've had to move people around. You saw Henry play at centre-half. I mean, smallest centre-half in history. But but he did more than he just got on with it. He actually did very well for the 15 minutes or so that he played, or 20 minutes he played there. So, look, we're, we're comfortable in ourselves. We're comfortable where we are. Um, and yeah, when you say about pre-season, uh, the person who said it doesn't matter if you win or lose, probably lost. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.